Okay guys, so here we're going to do another crystal swap on a plastic Rolex crystal. And uh, we're going to show you basically how to remove this from the watch. What you're going to need is the watch decased. So you take the movement out, put it aside, make sure it's in a safe place. And we are going to grab a razor blade and we're going to slightly wedge it underneath the bezel. And you are going to wiggle that razor blade until it goes into the case bezel between the bezel and the case and then you're going to gently pry up if you look closely I'm putting the razor blade in there and then prying all the way around until we loosen this bezel to the point where the bezel pops off. Okay, so now that I've got that pretty well pulled apart, you can see I can take the bezel off and then we can grab the old crystal and gently pry the crystal out of or off of the case. And again, you're going to take your razor blade and you're going to you know, wedge it in there just a little bit. Now, sometimes they come off easy, sometimes they don't. Okay, there's the old crystal and you can see this one's chipped and we are going to replace it with the new one. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to clean that. Make sure that the bezel nice and clean from debris. A lot of times I'll go through and ultrasound to clean the part so that everything's nice in there. What I like to do is to take the stem and screw it into the watch case like that so that I have a reference as to where the date ring is going to be or the date magnifier. So. got the crystal on you can see it's not aligned correctly and we're gonna have to pry that off a little bit be careful with the new crystal you don't want to scratch it so again we want to make sure that the magnifier here is in the correct position for the date ring and I just line it up so that when we're looking flat at it, we can see that it's in the middle of the stem. And then I push it down, just like so. The next thing is clean your bezel. I'm going to clean that bezel real quick. Once the bezel's nice and clean, And we've got the crystal seated correctly. I'm going to put the bezel back onto the watch like so. And you can see there's a little gap in that. The next thing to do is to take your trusty crystal press. And the crystal press here, you can see the one I'm using has a nice flat surface there so that when I put the press onto the bezel, it overlaps the crystal. So I'm not going to do any damage to that. And we're going to we're going to zoom out here. Put that into our crystal press. Insert the watch case on the press. And then we're going to I'll show you the gap. Squeeze, and there you see how we replace that crystal. Pretty simple. I think I've showed this one to you in the past, but I wanted to do it again in case some of you missed it. A little quick video here, and again, we're going to wipe off and clean our crystal, put the watch movement back into the uh, case, and uh, double check it. 
Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to get more information, please click on the link below to go to the article about this uh, process and for a list of the tools that I use. Take care and have a good day.